Hello friends. Synonyms we have today BC. Its synonyms are giddy, G I D D Y, dazed, D A Z E D, unsteady. So the meaning is unsteady or unable to stand steadily. That is BC means. So you have examples like when we when he saw blood rushing from his wounds. He felt dizzy, means his head went round and round. That is dizziness, means dizzy. Dizzy heights, you know, for example. You have seen dizzy heights, means very, very high. If you go there and stand and look downwards, then you will feel giddy or you will feel unsteady. Second is giddy. She felt giddy because of a bad headache. This can happen now. When you have got a bad headache, you can feel giddy. You, are, you, are, you feel that your head is uh, whirling around. W-H-I-R-L-I-N-G, whirling around. And the next one is dazed. The beauty, the beauty of Helen, Helen of Troy. Dazed Dr. Faustus. You remember those uh, words now? Was this the face that launched a thousand ships? and burn the topless towers of the sweet Helen make me immortal with a kiss. He says, Dr. Faustus, the story of Dr. Faustus, who sold his soul to the devil for uh, unlimited enjoyment in this world. Then, you can see that a shivering medium unsteady. If your body is shivering, then of course you will become unsteady. So that is the first one, DC, giddy, dazed, unsteady. We have written here. And the second is eccentric, peculiar, odd. Eccentric. We speak about eccentric people, no? Means semi crack. That's what we mean. Eccentric. Eccentric means away from the center. It means away from normal, normal behavior. That is uh, eccentric means. So what peculiar, peculiar behavior or odd behavior means same thing. It is difficult to live with eccentric people. It is difficult to live with eccentric people because they are not normal. Hmm. The dog produces a peculiar sound when it sees strangers. The dog produces a peculiar sound. When he sees his master one sound, the strangest different sound. We have to give special care to children who show odd behavior. Some children, you know, they show odd behavior. Means there is some strange behavior. Something that is not, we say, normal or a little bit of abnormality. Then we have to give special care to such children. Third is efficient, able, competent. Very simple, efficient, our principal is a very efficient person. He was a very efficient person, you can say. We are on the lookout for very able teachers so that we can give appointment. All the teachers in our college are very competent scholars. Competent, it's able. It's a simple word for you. For this emphasize stress, again very simple. Uh, in our day-to-day -day conversation or uh, writings and so on, we use that. The speaker emphasized the need for discipline. Understand? Uh, discipline, of course, among students. And then stress important points so that the students can remember them. When you give a lecture, you, know, you have to stress important points so that the students can remember. So that is stress means. Stress is another meaning. He is under stress. That is not what is meant here. Here it is emphasized. And the fifth one for today is endure, suffer, tolerate. The same meaning. What cannot be changed must be endured. You cannot change some people or some situation, so you have to endure them. 
We have to suffer a lot to attain our goal. For a smooth living, we have to, we have to uh, tolerate even the wrongdoings of others for a smooth living. If you go on reacting, then our life also will be in trouble. So it's better to uh, tolerate. Listen. And number six for today, energy, force, vigor. Some people waste a lot of their energy on silly things, silly matters, unimportant matters. So for example, mobiling. Too much of mobiling is bad. No? And then you have, or you make a, to make lazy people work, you, we will have to use force. Otherwise, they will not work. Vitamins help us to regain our lost vigor after some illness, for example, suppose Corona. And to get back our lost vigor, you have to take some vitamins according to the prescription given to us by the doctor or the competent medical practitioner. I think these words, some of these are very simple, day to day. And uh, my class will remind you of these things so that you can use them in your essays, writings, in your speaking task, writing task, then also your thinking. No, only if you think, you will, you will be in a position to reproduce these things. Understand? In the, in the right place. So right, right way in the right place is the style. Understand? So that, for that I am sure this exercise will help you. So till we see again, bye, have a nice day.